Good morning, Ryan. Brian Gallegos here from Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. I just wanted to reach out and first of all say thank you for your inquiry on the Blazer. Awesome choice. I love the new body style. I'm so jazzed that GM decided to bring this one back. Uh, rumor has it the Trailblazer's coming back too, so that's pretty neat. But I wanted to show you, I know you were looking at a shadow gray metallic, or nightfall gray, excuse me, and an RS. So I wanted to show you this Nightfall Gray Metallic. I wanted to show you this Black RS and just kind of uh, kind of show you the differences between the two. So just doing a quick little walk around. Um, you do have the rear parking sensors on this one. You got blind spot monitors. You just push a little button on that tailgate and it's gonna flip up for us. What I love about these back seats is this little lever right here. Flip. This little lever right here. Flip. Um, we're coming out of the home goods store or Costco or I love Costco, Ikea. Just flip those down real quick. Start unloading the cart. Now in the back seat, what I do like is you have USB, USB-C and 120 volt outlet. So everybody can stay plugged in, stay charged, stay connected. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, remote start, keyless entry. The keys in your pocket or purse. Just push that button. It's gonna unlock the doors for us. Let's swoop around to the inside real quick. We got the bows. Love the bows. All right, check this out. Here's where our cruise control options are gonna be, right? Hands-free calling. These two buttons here in this little dial. I love this. We got trip one, we got trip two. We got fuel range, we have oil live, tire pressure sensor, air filter live. We can check the diagnostics of the vehicle right inside the vehicle, which is super cool. We can play around with the audio navigation, phone settings as well, all right from here. This does have the auto stop start feature. Uh, you can shut that off, I kinda like it. When you come up, when the engine's warmed up, you come to a complete stop, the engine will shut off. It's more of an emissions thing, saves a little bit on gas, but it's mostly an emissions thing. Well, coming down here, we got heated seats. We got the dual climate control, which I love. Eight inch touchscreen, right? If you plug your phone into the USB port here, Using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, this is going to act as a second phone screen for us, which is super cool. So we're going to have access to uh, Google Maps, to text messages, to a weather app, to Pandora, Spotify, you name it. I can't play Candy Crush. That'd be weird if we were driving, but you get the gist. All of all of the all of the useful apps are going to be uh, be right there. Coming down here, we got our two by, we got our four by, we got our sport mode. Uh, that's going to shift, uh, change where. The vehicle shifts it's not going to shift until a higher rpm um, we got our hill descent control and we got our tow haul mode so you do have the ability to tow uh, not a million pounds obviously but you're gonna be able to tow a little bit now coming in here this one does have the sd card in there so this one has navigation which is nice you can see another usb usb-c and 12 volt outlet there and then uh, we've also got this right here, probably my favorite. Hi. The rear view camera in the mirror. I absolutely love that. Um, if you've got a bunch of stuff in the back, a bunch of people in the back, it's hard to see. You just flip that forward. It's going to give you a wider plane of view. You can play around right here with the brightness. You can play around with the, uh, the zoom. You can play around with the angle, which is super cool. Now we're going to flip over to the RS. This is the black on black on black on black black bow tie black rims black lettering black everything i love this vehicle you can have the same rear parking sensors on this one blind spot monitors push this button one thing this has that the other one doesn't is you're going to get these rails in here which is super nice you can actually secure some of your goods in here right and then you've got your spare tire and a little extra storage space around here the other one has that as well uh, for tools and things of that nature. Seats flip down, same as the other one. USB, USB-C in the back, same as the other one. And the 120 volt. I love that there's vents in the back. Believe it or not, that's not a thing in every vehicle. Uh, and I think it's very comfortable. We're gonna cruise around into this one and show you some of the additional features. Now with this one, you are gonna get memory settings. So seat, steering wheel and mirrors all memory settings a uh, little different interface here right 
but same things, our info, our audio, our navigation, our phone, stuff like that. Just looks a little sportier. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's our engine oil live, tire pressure sensor, air filter live. You can set a timer, race your significant other home, whatever you want to do. This one also has collision control clutch. If somebody slams on their brakes in front of you and you don't notice, the vehicle's gonna warn you first. This little thing's gonna flash a red light and if you don't do anything, the vehicle will apply the brakes. It is smart enough to not get into an accident if it can prevent it, which is awesome. I absolutely love it, especially out here in, in Utah. Not everybody uh, is uh, uh, cognizant of the fact that there are people around them while they're driving. Let's just say that. Um, heated steering wheel on this, which is also super cozy. I love it. It's nice and toasty. It makes that morning commute so much better when it's chilly out. You get nice and warmed up. You got heated seats on this one as well. You also have cooled seats, um, so they are ventilated. Uh, I love that red stitching too. Um, same, same with the uh, dual climate control. I think it's just the neatest design that you actually spin the vent. I think that's cool. Kind of modeled after the Camaro a little bit. I think that's neat. You also get a wireless phone charger in here. So if you have a newer version Android or Apple product, you literally just set it down and it's going to um, connect. Well, not connect, but it's going to start charging it. You don't need a connection. You don't have to have the Bluetooth connected or anything like that. You just set your phone down. And then uh, interface is the same. What I like on both of these vehicles is this 360 degree view camera. So we can see the front of us, we can see the back of us. We got a couple of different angles, a little fish eye there. That's a front, that's the back. That's a trailer hitch camera. So it's gonna point straight down at the hitch, which is also super nice. Um, it just makes parking in those tight little spots a little bit easier. Same, same on the rear view camera. The other thing that this has is a lane keep assist. Uh, if you start to go over the lines, in the road without your blinker on. Uh, this thing is going to give you a little beep beep and say, hey, is that something you're trying to do? Is that intentional? Just uh, make it driving a little bit easier. And the other thing you get with this is the panoramic sunroof slash moonroof. I love it, love it. Anyways, I can go on about this for days. Well, not for days, but for longer than seven minutes and 33 seconds. I'd love to invite you down to the dealership, take a look up in person with me. I've got tons of different Blazer options. Again, this is Brian, and I'm at Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. I appreciate your time. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you real soon.